made Marquis Haynes, I mean, rise so quickly up the depth chart? I just think his raw talent, I mean, speed and quickness. Mm -hmm. and he's done a good job of learning, uh, you know, what we've asked him to do. And got depth there with CJ and, uh, and you know, uh, dangling that carrot, he gets a lot of playing time. Is he still a chance that he starts at one end spot? In certain packages, he okay. will. Yes, absolutely. How's it going with uh, Mike Hilton going back and forth? Uh, I wish we didn't have to, but uh, Mike's a veteran and he's played, you know, Husky for two years in corner, so uh, he's handled it great. I don't see very many, very few mistakes out of Mike. Is it a concern that, that playing both and having to know both that, that maybe he's not really as good as he could be at either? Always. I think any time you got to double train somebody, you lose a little something. They can't just get totally focused on one thing. But, uh, again, I'm glad he's a veteran and been here for two years and uh, knows it better. Couldn't do it with a young guy for sure. Coach, what about your defensive rotation? How many of your defensive linemen are ready to play next week? I hope. Uh, I mean, you know, healthy-wise, we'd like to play eight or ten of them if we can. And um, I think we'll be in a position to do that. Certainly with all the different uh, personnel packages we can uh, run against people, we'll do it. So I've uh, been really pleased with the defensive line all through fall camp. How does it change you guys up front not having Isaac right now? Uh, you know, I mean, you lose the quickness in there, I think. Uh, Kudos to Brian Bennett because uh, I've never seen Brian Bennett play as well as he's playing right now. I mean, across the board, and he's got some size and quickness, and he's just really been uh, super in there for us. So I've been really pleased with him. But um, again, it affects your depth. What kind of progress have you seen from Woody Hamilton from last year to this year? Yeah, Woody's issue has always been, you know, staying out there on the field. And when he stays out on the field, he's a really good football player, and uh, he's extremely tough to block. He's not just an anchor. He's got some quickness, and he can move around. He fits our scheme really well. Three, you, week, three weeks in and, and a week to go. How, how do you feel generally about where you are in, in, in the progress? I'm excited about him. I mean, I'm anxious to see him play. I think um, you don't ever like that old, you know, hey, uh, tired of beating on each other, but we're tired of beating on each other a little bit. And I think it's it's time, uh, you know, to totally get their legs back with them and, and go. And I think they're extremely anxious for this first game. I know they are. Does the depth and experience that you have this year allow you to be more aggressive in play calling? Oh, I think so. I mean, I think last year we've always been somewhere around 35 to 40 percent pressure, which means bringing five or more. And uh, we'd absolutely want to get back to that. We weren't able to do that last year because of uh, the pass rush that we didn't have, if you will, and also, uh, you know, the corners. We, we lacked the corner play that we needed. So. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think uh, Boise is going to see some things they hadn't seen us do in the last two years. What percent were you at last year? You I'm sorry? What percent were you at last year? Yeah, I think it was somewhere around 27, 28, okay. something like that. It was down for us. Mm -hmm. How do you look at Boise State? I mean, new coach. I know some. There, there's an idea of what he would do, mm -hmm. but at the same time, some new stuff there. How do you kind of approach that? or how? how you I mean, we, we really approached it was just studying a lot of different uh, things. You know, coordinators from Stanford. He was at Arkansas State. Right. He was a coordinator at Texas. So uh, we've looked at lots and lots of film uh, and just kind of narrowed down and see what we think is going to mm -hmm. fit the best and what was consistent without consistent. How much of it was consistent, teams. you think? A, a, a percentage? Stuff. I don't know. I mean, we, we're going to work their favorite plays and what they want to do and and uh, get our guys out there and play on it. So uh, I really – I don't think it's going to be as much about what they do as what we do as what, how we're trying to approach it. So if we'll, we'll play fast and eliminate mistakes, we'll be fine.